The problem of waste plastic has bothered farmers for years. Recycling offers a solution. It conserves energy and resources, usually saves farmers the cost of tipping fees for landfill disposal, and offers a legal alternative to open burning. However, to be sustainable, recycling programs must be efficient. Because it's expensive to collect and transport recyclables, bulky materials should be compacted before they're recycled. No one wants to pay to move air. This video shows how to use a Bigfoot BF300 vertical stroke baler to compact waste agricultural plastic into dense, square, stackable bales that fit neatly into the enclosed van of a tractor trailer for efficient transport to recycling markets. Recycling markets want to transport loads that meet their target cargo weight of about 40,000 pounds. This weight is reached with about 40 of the Bigfoot bales, each weighing about 1,000 pounds. Our recycling markets will be kept happy if they can count on wrap partners to provide them with full tractor-trailer loads of densely packed clean bales. This video shows how. Anyone who will be transporting, loading, assisting, or operating a plastic baler purchased by or used under the auspices of the New York State Recycling Agricultural Plastics Project, RAP, must first be trained in basic safety and operational procedures around the baler. RAP field staff and others with extensive experience in using the Bigfoot BF300 have been designated to provide the training. After receiving the basic training and before working with the baler, trainees must sign a legally required liability release form that will be provided at the training. This liability release attests that trainees receive training and take responsibility for their own safety. The baler manager will keep these forms on file for a minimum of six years. People who will be operating the baler controls or handling the baler on their own will need additional training prior to taking full responsibility for baler operations. These individuals must be thoroughly familiar with all of the points made in this training video. Anyone who will be operating the baler independently must first participate in at least one baling event under the supervision of a designated trainer. RAP staff strongly recommend these individuals watch this video at least once and keep it handy for a later reference. Once they have adequate training and experience, these individuals will be given a wallet size operator certification card. The trainer will also sign the shaded Baylor Operator Certification at the bottom of the trainee release form. These training requirements apply to farm owners and managers, farm workers and volunteer help, as well as soil and water conservation district and extension personnel. Failure to follow the training requirements can void the contract between the agency managing the baler and the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, which holds title to the balers. To summarize, RAP field staff and other personnel experienced with the Bigfoot BF300 are designated to provide training. Basic training is required before anyone works with the baler in any capacity, including loading plastic, tying off the bales, or hitching the baler to a pickup truck. After the training, but before using the baler, trainees must sign a legally required liability release form, attesting that they receive training and take responsibility for their own safety. Additional training is required for people who will be operating the baler controls or handling the baler on their own. These trainees and the trainers sign the shaded baler operator certification at the bottom of the trainee liability release form and a wallet-sized operator certification card for the trainee to carry. With training completed, we're ready to bail plastic.